globe and the heliocentric model of the solar system. What a truly amazing accomplishment of man. It took the collective efforts of some of the greatest minds of all time, over 2,000 years, to invent this model. It was a reverse engineered masterpiece. Every objection to the model always met with just another cleverly disguised reverse engineered explanation. For example, the lacking stellar parallax was rationalized by the stars being trillions upon trillions of miles away. A bunch of zeros were added to the end of their numbers to explain away what any common sense would refute. What these men did was invent a dual system of astronomy, a second model of the universe that can explain everything we observe, a model built on perfected mathematics that have no actual relevance to the truth. As George Orwell once wrote in his prophetic book, 1984, What are the stars, said O'Brien indifferently? They are bits of fire a few kilometers away. We could reach them if we wanted to, or we could blot them out. The Earth is the center of the universe. The sun and the stars go round it. When we navigate the ocean, or when we predict an eclipse, we often find it convenient to assume that the Earth goes round the sun, and that the stars are millions upon millions of kilometers away. But what of it? Do you suppose it is beyond us to produce a dual system of astronomy? The stars can be near or distant, according as we need them. Do you suppose our mathematicians are unequal to that? Have you forgotten double think? These men invented a dual system of astronomy, and these men marveled at their accomplishments. Finally, we shall place the sun himself at the center of the universe. The globe, heliocentrism, the Big Bang Theory, evolution, all pseudoscientific lies taught to us as fact, and we are taught lie after lie after lie. They need to keep us completely ignorant and uninformed, and for the exact same reason that they didn't educate the slaves. An uneducated slave was much easier to control than an educated one, and slavery still exists today. It has just evolved beyond the ball and chain. Instead of forced labor, we are allowed to have the illusion of education, and we are allowed to choose our own profession. This illusion of freedom and this illusion of choice makes us more productive. The more productive we are, the more taxes we can pay. We are all just small cogs in a massive machine. We are their slaves. We are their debt slaves. So like any slave, why would they ever tell us the truth? Knowledge is power, and he who holds the knowledge holds the power. They pretended to give us educations, but all it was was a watered-down curriculum designed to prevent your mind from reaching its true potential. All it was was government indoctrination, and people gobbled up lie after lie. All these lies serve one master agenda, and that's to remove God from creation. Their answer for a randomly created godless universe was the Big Bang Theory, which requires spherical-shaped stars and planets formed through gravity to even be plausible. It doesn't work if the Earth is flat. How could they go about creating a theory of how a flat Earth, with all the heavenly bodies revolving around it, could be randomly created without the intelligence of a supreme being? They cannot. A flat, geocentric Earth proves creation, and this is a huge problem for the people who possess the power here on Earth. And here's what it all boils down to. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate one or love the other. No one can serve both God and money. No one can serve both God and greed. The Bible clearly describes a flat and stationary earth with boundaries, a beginning and an end, as all things have. So if the earth were flat, it would prove God's word, and Satan is constantly telling us the opposite of what God's word tells us. All of Satan's lies blind us from the truth and lead us further away from God. They work hard to try to hide God from us because no one can serve two masters. They want money to be your master. They need you to be a debt slave to their grand monetary Ponzi scheme because it is you, the common worker, that keeps this matrix alive and functioning. If people knew 100% that God is real, that there truly is an afterlife, and that this physical state we are in is only a tiny blip on the radar, they would stop showing up to their dead-end jobs working for slave wages, and they would stop being debt slaves to the bankers who rule over us, and people would choose to serve God instead of money. The entire system would collapse. These carefully manufactured lies all serve one agenda, and that is to hide God so that we will continue to serve them and their debt-based money system and not God.
because no one can serve two masters. 